Welcome. This is the third in my series of three minute climate myth busters and the myth I'm going to bust today is that more carbon dioxide is good for agriculture. Well let's take a look at the pros and cons and we'll do the pros first and note that even these pros have some major qualifications associated with them. The most often used argument is that plants grow larger with more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now that's true, but it's only true for some plants, not all plants. Those larger plants are no more nutritious than the smaller ones, unless you add a lot of water and uh, nutrients to the soil. Additional nutrients in the soil means more agricultural runoff and the resulting problems in our lakes, rivers and oceans. It also means there'll be more food production in higher latitude regions, and that is true. However, the soils there are fairly poor and so have our limited agricultural use and even adding more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and, and warming the temperatures a little doesn't change the number of hours of sunlight that the plants receive. While some areas at high latitudes will become more agriculturally productive, many areas near the equator will become far less uh, agriculturally productive. The deserts will spread. Higher temperatures from increased carbon dioxide generally lead to more and longer lasting droughts in some places. This map shows the drought potential over the next 30 years for various areas of the earth. To give you some idea what this scale means, minus 6 on this scale was the equivalent level of the Dust Bowl in the 1930s in central US. The area around the Mediterranean seems particularly vulnerable, going to Dust Bowl levels or beyond in that time frame. Now these are some of the most productive agricultural areas on the planet and we'll be losing a great deal of agricultural capacity in those areas. Conversely, other areas around the globe, because of the higher temperatures which leads to more humidity and thus more rain, will suffer from flooding. And that in itself can impact crops. This chart was put out by the EPA about corn production in the United States. The black line here shows the increase in overall technology uh, that has produced higher and higher yields. However, deviations from that are indicating that bad weather events have reduced that output. We've had uh, wet springs, floods and unusual events like hurricanes that have dropped the overall productivity of uh, US corn by as much as 30%. Another con is increased agricultural pests. Warmer winters mean more pests survive to infect plants in the spring. Just take a look at the impact of the pine bark beetle on the western state's timber forests. We also have invasive species and one of my least favourite uh, in this area are stink bugs. They chew on the embryonic fruit uh, on uh, fruit trees causing them to become distorted and infected. Then there's another con which is not often mentioned which is called chilling hours. Many common fruits require a certain time with low temperatures during the winter to set fruit. The higher the winter temperatures reduce the number of chilling hours, reducing the blossoms and thus cutting the fruit yield. I think it's pretty clear that the cons outweigh the pros in this particular case. So you see somebody lauding the positive effects of carbon dioxide on agriculture, please post a link to this video after telling them that they're full of nonsense. Until next time. Goodbye.